There's also a three-legged dog named Good Boy, so if that doesn't make you want to read it, I don't know what will. everybody it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with a graphic novel recommendation video this was requested by a couple of people on my channel so I figured I would actually do it I only chose a total of five graphic novels to add to this list just because if I add more I will never stop talking so if you want a part two of this let me know down below in the comments and without further ado let us get started so if you are not new to this channel this one is going to come to no surprise because I rave about this all the time I love this series with my whole heart but it is the adventure zone by the McElroy brothers this is book one it is here there be Gerblins, and then the second book in the series is Murder on the Rockport Limited. They also released book three and four recently, but I unfortunately do not own them, and it's very upsetting to me. But one day I'm gonna get them. But this series is based off of a podcast that the McElroy's brothers have with their father that follows their Dungeon and Dragons games. And it follows these three characters, Magnus the human, Merle the dwarf wizard, and Taco or Taco, I'm not 100% sure which one it actually is, the elf cleric. And it's basically them going on different quests per graphic novel and this series is just so funny. The entire time you're reading these graphic novels you are bursting out laughing. These characters are so full of life and unique and just so quirky. My personal favorite is Magnus. I like to say that he is literally the epitome of a golden retriever in a human's body and I also really like Taco, Taco. They are so sassy and their one-liners are so funny and then Meryl is like the scaredy cat of the group so it's a lot of him trying to make everybody turn back and Magnus going no let's go get it because he's just like a golden retriever I also just think that the artwork in these are so well done I am obsessed with the bright colors and I think that the facial expressions are so well drawn and you really can tell what each character is feeling at the time this is definitely a more mature graphic novel it's probably not for like 12 year olds because there's a lot of swearing and stuff in it. I know that 12 year olds swear but like I wouldn't want my child reading these per se until they were like 13, 14 because I'm sure by 13, 14 they're swearing their little heads off because I'm sure I was at that age. But yeah, I really enjoyed these. I think they're a lot of fun and I'm currently trying to get my brother to read them. He's a 26 year old male and hates reading but I feel like he's really gonna like these. But we're still working on that. The next recommendation I have is called Snapdragon. This is by Kat Lay and it follows Snapdragon who has always felt out of place in her small town. Then she befriends the town witch named Jax and they agree to teach her magic and it's like the story of that. I think that this graphic novel does such an amazing job of taking very serious topics and discussing them in a way that you don't feel like it's the central part of the book. For example, Snapdragon's friend Lou is transgender and at the beginning of the story they are closeted and as the story progresses they come out of the closet and with the love and support of their friends they're able to become who they were meant to be. I just really like how subtle the transition was and how it wasn't thrown in your face that this is the whole point of the book. I also just loved every single character in this book. Snap is just a very feisty, sassy character and I also really loved Lou who is so supportive of Snap no matter how weird and crazy her endeavors were. Jax is also amazing. They were such a grumpy little old witch and was so supportive of Snapdragon trying to learn her magic and never really snapped at her or made her feel lesser when she made a mistake. There's also a three-legged dog named Good Boy, so if that doesn't make you want to read it, I don't know what will. There's also a fun little mystery of Jax and her history to Snapdragon that you get to try to figure out while you're reading it. I also just really like the artwork in this. It was very bright for a lot of it, but then in the more like gloomy depressing parts it would be very dark and eerie which I thought was a really cool addition to the story but I just think it is a very sweet story and you should definitely pick it up because it is worth the read. The next recommendation I have should again come to no surprise because I rave about this all the time it is Check Please. This is book one called Hashtag Hockey and this is by Ngozi Ukazu and I absolutely adore this book. It follows a boy named Eric Bittle who is 
is a former figure skater who also loves to bake. He has a vlog channel on YouTube, which is very popular. And on this channel, he talks about his experience as a varsity player on his university's hockey team. He is extremely fast on the ice. The only thing is that he is terrified of getting checked. So with the help of his teammates and Jack, who is the team captain, Biddy works on his fear in order to keep his hockey scholarship. And it's like the story of that. This is such a cutesy, feel-good comic that while you're reading it, you cannot keep a smile off your face no matter how hard you try. I believe that the second volume is out already. I'm not 100% sure if there are more than two out already, but I do know that it's a webcomic, so I'm pretty sure you can go read the whole thing anyways. But I think that the highlight of this is the relationships that grow throughout the story. Seeing all the teammates interact with Biddy is just so nice. And Biddy is just such a good character. He is such a little cinnamon roll and it was so great to be able to watch him grow into himself as the story progressed and really become unapologetically himself. There's also a character named Shitty in this. I just think that he is one of the most underrated characters I've ever read. He's just so protective of Biddy and all of his other teammates and he's also just really funny in the banter that he has between his teammates is so fun. I'm also just a big fan of the art style in this, which is apparently the theme of, you know, all of my graphic novel recommendations. If I like the art, I'll probably recommend it, but it's like really bright and all of the tones are very red and blue and white, so they just like look really nice together. It also just makes me think of Canada, so I think I'm biased, but this is a super cute one, so if you want a cute graphic novel that's gonna make you feel good, I recommend Check Please. The next recommendation I have is more dark, if you will, but it is Grimoire Noir. This is by Vera Green Tea and Yena Bogath. This is about a boy named Bucky who wants nothing more than to find his little sister Heidi, who disappeared from her room one day. At first, her parents think nothing of it because Heidi is actually a witch who has the ability to turn invisible, but as time continues on and Heidi still does not return home, they begin to wonder if she has been kidnapped, so Bucky decides to start an investigation of his own and looks into the townsfolk and discovers a little bit more than he could bargain for, and it's like the story of that. This graphic novel is so well done solely for the artwork. It is absolutely stunning. Like, I cannot get over how beautiful these pictures are and the facial expressions of these characters are just like blows my mind. Like this illustrator is so insanely talented. I also really like how all of the colors are very like muted blacks, browns, grays, kind of like goldish and a lot of blues. I just think that the whole atmosphere of the story is very spooky, so using those colors really highlighted that. But this is like the perfect graphic novel to read during Halloween time. It is so spooky and atmospheric. I definitely recommend it if you're into like spooky books because it was a lot of fun and the mystery behind what happened to Heidi was really cool, so definitely check it out. And then the final recommendation I'm going to make for this video is Kiss Number 8. This is by Colleen A.F. Vanable and Ellen T. Crenshaw. So this follows two girls, Amanda and her best friend Kat, who is always surrounded by drama and loves kissing boys. So wanting to fit in, Amanda has kissed seven boys in her 16 years of life, and every single one of them has been unremarkable at best. But nothing seems to compare to how awful Kiss Number 8 was and everything that comes afterwards. Words. And then, to make matters worse, Amanda feels that the, her family is hiding a big secret from her. So now, with a secret of her own, Amanda is trying to navigate falling in love with her best friend and the secret that her family is hiding from her, and it's like the story of that. This graphic novel is definitely focusing on self-discovery and accepting who you are. I, I think Amanda was a really great character who went through a lot in a very short amount of time. I really liked watching her figure out who she was and how it affects her and those around her. I also really liked how the family secret was explored and dealt with in this book and I really enjoyed how all of the characters, not just Amanda, were very well developed and seeing their growth was perfect. I also really liked how the ending was not perfect. There were things that were messy and didn't work out for Amanda, but that was so awesome to see because that's how life is. The ending also made me cry, which I don't cry at books, so the fact that this 
graphic novel made me cry was a huge highlight to the story for me. Overall, I think that this was a really well done graphic novel and I think that it will help a lot of people who are questioning who they are. So I definitely recommend picking it up because it was really beautiful, honestly. All right, everybody. So that was my graphic novels recommendation video. Let me know down below if you want a part two because I have many more that I would love to recommend. These were just the first five that popped into my head. So let me know down below if you have read any of these and what you thought of them. And also, if you have any graphic novels that you think I should check out, let me know that as well. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!